On this episode of Tiger TV, I'm at Rawlings HQ, and we talk about the different leathers, and we talk about how to break in a glove. Oh, and that's, that's pretty cool. Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Tiger TV. I'm your host, Spiker Helms. I'm here at Rawlings HQ, I'm here with Ryan Farrar, and we're gonna talk about gloves. Now, we have gloves here right now, um, labeled out and everything like that. Could you go over certain, like the certain types and yep. what, what's going on and the process going on with these? Yeah, so the glove making process is, is obviously very intimate, and not only that, but also the player is very intimate with this glove. You have some guys that you know, won't put their gloves in their bags and carry it everywhere. <clears throat> so we take great pride in that. There's a lot of different patterns and a lot of different leathers. Uh, what we're going to focus on today is kind of the difference between infield and outfield. Uh, and then obviously you have your pitchers, uh, your, your first base and your catcher's mitt. So infield, obviously, you know, fly balls, you, you, you know, you will have some base hits. But the infield patterns are, are traditionally larger gloves. Uh, this glove in particular is our 303 pattern, uh, which is a deeper outfield glove uh, and this is our H web which yeah. our H web that up a little bit yep. more like right about here yeah okay so the outfield gloves are usually traditionally you know 11 and a half or 12 and a half to 12 and three quarters so the 303 is a little bit deeper uh, and the H web is our most popular amongst you know all of our retail models and our pro gloves and the H web breaks in nice and creates a little pocket inside that pocket okay. so the outfielders where this glove will traditionally close thumb to little finger, yep. where more of your infield gloves, you know, will kind of close thumb to middle finger because it's a different position. Yep. So outfield gloves, we have several different patterns, uh, you know, starting from the deepest is the 303, then you go to the 302, which is a little bit more narrow, but uh, size is very important. You obviously don't want to be in the outfield with 11 and a half inch glove. Uh, so you know you can make those diving catches, which is important. Yep. I mean when you're when you're going full speed and going into the gap, you gotta have that deeper, exactly. deeper pocket. Now, what about the infield mitt? Can you talk yep. a little bit about the infield mitt and the difference difference between that and the outfield? Yeah. So this is our 200 infield mitt. Uh, infield mitts uh, are actually growing in size. Where traditionally uh, in years past, infield mitts would be 11, 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half. We're now seeing guys step up to 11 and three quarters. Uh, and some guys going all the way up to 12, some of your third basements. For example, Chris Bryant uses a 12 and a quarter, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big glove, but obviously it's working for him, you know, <laughs> MVP. So he knows what he's doing with his glove. Uh, we have four or five different key core patterns, mm -hmm. uh, and, they, and they vary from flat to deep patterns. So our 200 pattern is our deepest, mm -hmm. and it's more for infielders who are more into catching the ball. Yep. Um, and then you'll get into some of our shallower patterns it's where guys, you know, come in and go get it. So, and I've always wondered about that because I was a guy that never closed his glove. Yep. Like I was a guy that just wanted to get rid of the ball yep. out, out of my out of my glove. And then when I when we were hanging out with with my friends and we'd see see these gloves, I was like, man, your glove has a deeper pocket. Like, how do you catch that? And it's just, yep. I guess, it's personal preference. Yeah, it's all personal preference. You know, you got to touch it, you got to feel it, and that allows you the, the shallower the pattern, you know. You can traditionally open it up a little bit wider, yeah, uh, because your your leather base is stretched out the way the glove is cut and sewn together. So, if you are more of a you know a quick transition guy, yeah, traditionally your second base shortstop guys will use a little bit shallower pocket, uh, but third base you know doing a lot of backhanding and going you know front hand to the base they're going to use a little bit deeper but, pattern. But then how do you des how do you design this glove? So like. Um, obviously you're going off of a player like who how do you design the gloves yep. so we have a, a core stable of patterns um, mm -hmm. that have tried and true been around for you know 50 plus years that we've tweaked and, and used working with our glove engineers yeah um, the 200 pattern has been around a long time and it's it's our most popular um, and then every once in a while if we need to tweak one for a guy you know we can obviously do that do that for some players that need the pattern tweak but you can basically cover every position uh, and every play style with our our core stable of patterns, mm -hmm. and then it comes down to you know what web you want because depending on what web you pick, it will change the way the glove plays. Um, if you're using a you know an H web in an infield, yeah, you notice so how the, yeah that's H and then so the H has this base yeah so the H is not going to on an infield glove it's not going to be as deep because right here in the eye you're going to have a little bit of lace and that lace is going to stretch as the glove breaks in. Breaks in, yeah. So it all depends on player preference and how you really want to to play and, and field your position. 
Now, with the leather, because obviously yep. that's that. I mean, the colors and all of that. Mm -hmm. Is it is the color telling you what type of leather it is, or is it is it just how it's how it's made? So there's it's how it's made. So there, we have we have two core types of leather used for our high end gloves. Uh, we have Pro Preferred, uh -huh. uh, which is a a kip leather, which is a tighter grain. Mm -hmm. So kip leather, the hides are uh, traditionally smaller. Uh, so you're going to have less blemishes. Mm -hmm. You're going to have in that glove. You can see how clean and, and tight this grain is yep. for the for the Pro Preferred. So what that does, it's a little bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. Takes a little bit longer to break in. Um, and we have limited colors in that. Uh, and then heart of the hide is our, our tried and true. Uh, it's been around for 50 plus years. You know, back and this is this is actually yeah. So this is so this the is actual a, leathers. This is our pro preferred. So we use this to build custom gloves. So we do a tremendous amount of of custom gloves, and this allows our sales guys to go out and the players to pick what color and what glove they use if they don't have access to yeah. our glove There's builder. Your camo. <laughs> right. So heart of the hide. We have a little bit more color range. Yeah. Um, but heart of the hide. The hides are a little bit. Uh, larger, yeah. So, but we only use the top five percent of those hides. Okay. So they're U.S. steer hide, uh, specified thickness for both the Pro Preferred and the Heart of the Hide, uh, and it just comes down to player preference and and what you can afford and what you want out of a glove. So right now, you know, it's it's about 50-50 Heart of the Hide Pro Preferred uh, okay. for our pro guys. It's, it's, and are these like are there softer leathers? Harder there are leathers? softer leathers. So as you as you go down, it's player explain player. explain like a soft leather because like obviously. We know it, yep. but like, to explain, explain like, what's the difference between a soft leather and a hard leather? <clears throat> so a, a soft leather um, is traditionally used for uh, youth gloves. Okay. Uh, it's easier to close. You know, it doesn't take as long to break in, um, and it's still a great glove. You know, the same patterns are used. It's just going to be a little bit easier to close, and you can game it. Uh, we have a series called the Gamers, uh -huh. uh, and the idea of that series design was. Go buy the glove and you can game it immediately. Obviously, okay. guys have their gamers. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys will have two or three gloves. They'll go and you know they'll catch BP with this. And Nowadays, so, you have like guys that have like three different gloves. Exactly, like, that's their practice glove, which we like. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously. And then then you have your game glove, and then you're yeah. like, hey, I have my playoff glove now. <laughs> exactly. So, the softness. Um, you know, obviously, you can take a stiff leather and break it in mm -hmm. and get it as soft or as stiff as you like. The soft leather, just a little bit easier for some of the younger kids to go out. That don't have the time, or maybe play as many games. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe they're only they're playing in their local league, and they're only playing you know 20 games a year mm -hmm. uh, compared to 60, 65. So it all comes down to to what you really want out of the glove, and, and you know your price value proposition of what you can afford. Let, let's see this glove right here. This yep. is the glove that I love right here because you, you got the tiger logo right there. Now, is, it, is this a, something new that you guys are doing with the gloves? It is. <clears throat> so it started in, with our colleges. Um, you know, our advisory staff schools, the University of Virginia. Uh, we've got you know, hundreds of universities across yeah. the country that, that represent the Rawlings brand. And so the way we look at this, especially with, with an organization like yourself, yeah. is we're partners and we work together. And, you know, this glove is, is obviously very unique and individual. We would never stock a orange and white and black <laughs> glove. Yeah. Um, but adding the Tiger logo is something that we started last year mm -hmm. um, with our schools. And now we're opening that up uh, to our organizations for custom gloves and it's it's really seen a spike in sales. How many schools do you guys have right now? Off the top of my head, I mean, glove wise, it's it's well over a hundred. Yeah, I mean, you guys are all across the country. Yeah, I mean, even Missouri State, you have Missouri State under you guys. Yep. So um, and, and we just uh, we have Mizzou's gloves now too. So yeah. Now, how would I want to break this thing in so I don't ruin it? Because I mean, it's so pretty yep. as is. But I mean, how would I want to break this one in? So I'm I'm a little bit old school. Yeah. Um, and I I'm a, I'm a glove geek, if you will. And yeah. and breaking in a glove is is a labor of love. So you're obviously investing you know some some serious coin into getting a good glove. Um, what I say to guys and players ask me all the time, how do you break this in? Um, we don't recommend putting it in the oven because uh, what happens is if it gets too hot, just like your skin, it starts to dry out. So when you start drying out these laces, they're going to get very brittle. Mm -hmm. uh, my recommendation, it's the safest recommendation if you you know really don't know what you're doing, is just play catch. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but you can basically stop the break-in process where you want it. You know, if you dunk this thing in water and put it in the oven, you really lose your lose control. Yeah. So you know, take ground balls during BP. You know, playing long toss will really help you break in your glove. And, and if you get your glove where you want it, then obviously you just you know you just you use, it. For, you use you it for games it. and you yeah. don't mess with it. Um, obviously, if it gets a little dry, similar to skin, um, you know, just put a little glove glove oil on it. Okay. Um, always spray not it. Not too much though. Not right? too much. Not too and much. always spray it on the rag first 
because if you take glove oil and just dunk it on your glove, yeah. the, the leather is a porous product. So the pores are going to absorb whatever you put on it. So you have to make sure it's evenly distributed. Uh, and this glove in particular, the orange and white, you would need to use almost two different rags because you don't want your orange to mm -hmm. transfer over to your white. Yeah. So it's, you'll, it's you'll very see, important. You'll see guys on YouTube like, oh, this is how you break it in. And right. they dump the whole thing. Like, no, don't do right. that. <laughs> and you can. I mean, you can. There's just risks. Yeah. So, it, you know, if somebody's asking me how you break in a glove, they just, you know, spent $300 <laughs> on a glove. My advice is to play catch and oil as you need it. Yep. Um, now, uh, with baseball and, and every I'll, every person is going after uh, being a professional baseball player, but yep. then you, then you went down the route of going into the Rawlings brand. Mm -hmm. um, how did how'd you how'd you do that? How'd you go from going from just you, you're you're playing baseball? And you're like you know what? I want to make this a career. Yep. I want to go down the Rawlings route. So very I'm very fortunate. Um, you know. Missouri Baptist University is right down the road. Yep. Um, I did an internship uh, before my senior year in college. Uh, you know, went to the College World Series, had a great time, did a bunch of projects, and there was an opening for an assistant product manager yeah. job. Uh, applied, and you know, I started in, in May of 2007, right after I graduated. So Rawlings was great. They worked with my schedule. You know, the coach was good, so it, it worked out. I've been here for be 10 years in January, so I, I'm very fortunate. Um, and I obviously I don't take it for granted. So that's awesome. It's that's been awesome. great. Well, Ryan, thanks again for coming on the show. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it, um, guys. Uh, we're gonna link in uh, some great stuff uh, with the website with Rawlings. We'll do their Facebook as well. Take a look at it. Um, and if you guys want this glove, um, just send us a shout out, and we'll give you all the information. So thanks, guys. See you. Thank you.